So, an update on this uh, Gen 2.x uh, firmware because by now I have 11 different layouts and I have made uh, some code changes recently. And uh, so, here this is a, a 2.3 setup which has only one uh, uh, serial, uh, so you can connect them, but then you would only have. Uh, uh, no external remote control and therefore I've introduced uh, here this um, first year or here these um, you have three different types now a master and a slave and these do communicate or a single and the master or single they uh, can or uh, have must have one remote and the remote dummy is what used to be the, the test speed which is no input just forward backboard and then the UART uh, was the uh, usual and here's a UART bus <laughs> it's really you can, can connect multiple boards up to 250 50 at least by software <laughs> to this bus and that's because uh, it's only the, the ESP32 here now uh, starting to the command. And so let's look at the Arduino code. Uh, here you have this hover send uh, to the left with the, I, with the ID, slave ID 1. And you have to wait uh, 10 milliseconds because instantly the other one uh, the hoverboard once received this data sends back so all uh, the hoverboards join the same uh, R, uh, TX to RX so the ESP32 RX is connected yet you can see this here so all um, T, TX lines are connected to the same RX and um, all uh, RX lines that receive are connected to the same TX and so all um, boards do receive the messages. That's uh, uh, that's here. I have created these uh, um, like object oriented. So here's this uh, remote UART bus, and there is a callback. Uh, and you see here, if the slave ID is uh, the one that this the firmware was compiled for, then. Uh, the data is used, otherwise it gets discarded and then you immediately answer the master. Uh, but uh, if you do not have uh, such a delay, then um, these uh, will so be so quickly that the two response will overlap. And so you either have a delay to of 10 or you um, make first this and the next loop you send the other point. And, um, but I think you could already connect to four or five Five or make a robot or whatever is five access robot with this UART bus. Uh, so uh, back here to the config. If you have the UART bus, then here you can select the slave ID. And I had to make a big change because um, these uh, hardware pins of the uh, GD32 one they are connected to the UART bus. And so here. And I do no longer have a, a UART steer and UART a master slave, so, but only use UART zero. And you have to decide um, here. So that's in the defines file because usually um, this uh, master slave is, is here and uh, and and uh, the remote is the other port. But as this does only have one, so if you if you here. Uh, you see now you have to decide that this uh, UART no zero is for the remote, and therefore you uh, could not. Um, if you change here this to master, let's say, and then you would of course have to choose a dummy because you do not have a remote, and, and then you would have to go in the uh, defines and also s here sel uh, select. Uh, don't have uh, found as it's I cannot really auto detect it because as I said here these uh, pins six and seven this is always uh, related to the UART zero and and, and, the, and this uh, for example uh, 
Yeah, that's the UART1 that's uh, all, all mostly used. It's uh, pin two and three, and there are other pins possible. And so you see, you have to decide in the defines uh, which port is used for which function. Um, yes. And okay, I should turn on the power here to, to show you some, something moving. Uh, 36 volt battery going to uh, down to 26 volt with uh, a 2 amp um, current limit. I really, I strongly encourage you to use some kind of uh, currency, uh, current limit limiting, uh, because I, so many people here have have uh, contributed with their uh, layouts, and so many already have here uh, with issues um, traced the pins and most of them sooner or later drop out I, I guess because the board burns so uh, it's really dangerous uh, to, to this firmware the 2.0 is quite okay but right now there's another one who told us it's board burned because of this old ppm i don't have a ppm rc control and 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 this uh, is i've updated it but i i can only use here the override ppm because i don't have our receive remote and this also only works with arduino and not with esp32 because here these uh, registers for the for the timers and interrupts this is arduino specific uh, back to the test speed. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, this is not in the window. <laughs> ah, you see here the speed and the steers. I, I, I do vary it a bit, so you see something different. You see one motor is starting a bit earlier than the other because uh, the steer is already uh, set to this value. That this motor is always just to see something happening. Also, you see here both LEDs now show the same battery voltage. Uh, that's because both are running at single mode. And, and so um, I would also need to, to add a here in the hover serial. Uh, is the command is here. If you select this uh, UART bus, then you have a slave ID and a speed. And there should also be a... Uh, bit bit register to set the LEDs or something like that. Uh, but I'm not really that. Um, you see, people always come with new boards, and so I'm always constantly stuck to this um, old non FOC because uh, here this uh, where is it? Uh, here's a simple over. With, uh, it's already running, and I think it's using these. Uh, uh, these pins is, is, is uh, used uh, can also be used as I2C and here my code is already running with I2C uh, so you could also connect uh, multiple uh, boards to this and this uh, simple FOC already has something like constant uh, uh, speed and torque and position to for servo so it's far advanced it's far more silent far more efficient and so I really I uh, would go back to uh, to to this uh, continue this firmware, but I constantly need to update here the code because people coming with new boards. Uh, and right now it's a bit difficult because the only test setup that I have is here this uh, with only one uh, serial port. So I would like to uh, someone with a 2.0 who really has these. Uh, I've not. It, it does compile and so it should work but I have never tested uh, a board where you really have a master slave communication with one serial port and uh, then a single uh, UR to, to an ESP32 or Arduino so it would be nice if someone uh, from a 2.0 this is also working a 2.1 should also work so let's go back to the config uh, here uh, so the 2.0 that's the original the 2.1 I never tested but the fork that I built on was a 2.1 so this should also work 2.2 was also spinning but 2.3 now there are two people being active so the three they are three so let's turn on here the <laughs> 
So this is the one I just showed you. And then there's also here that at point seven, this is a guy, he, he really made uh, another uh, processor working. And then you have here upwards, you have to choose between the two different architectures. And he was also very far. And I think he was the one who also uh, uh, completely uh, his job implemented this. Uh, it's another um, RC um, protocol that a little device um, that transforms the uh, uh, RC remote to to UART, so you could ca can connect this one, but it's a different protocol, and, and it's therefore he made this. Uh, as I, I did port it here to my remote structure, but um, he never really tested then my code, but uh, was happy with his code, but this was um, confusing with, with the main code, and so I started here these different remotes, uh, so yeah, there could be a remote ADC or a remote PVM, a re remote PPM. And right now you see there's a remote UART uh, and, and this three UART um, serial communication remotes and the one dummy. And yeah, that's it. So if you have, um, <laughs> you see, I just can show you here again the, the configs. Uh, there are already one, uh, seven, seven different layouts that um, we have uh, already uh, traced uh, uh, nearly 90% of, of all the pins and, and which mostly spin, but uh, only really um, these two that I would say, okay, they, they can be used. Uh, so here is 2.3 and the 2.0. 2.1, as I said, I've never seen a 2.1, so I uh, can only assume that it was working. Uh, and, and but uh, the 2.2 I also have a 2.2 and so I might uh, already a test set up so I also might test this latest software with a 2.2 and then it would be ready but really um, if you have some 2.x layout get yourself a, a simple step down uh, with constant current uh, you can buy them um, from from for three dollar the problem is with a 36 volt battery you need a uh, someone that that can go above a 36 volt so you um, better um, take a power display or a 24 24 volt battery if you go below as i said i think in the beginning <laughs> below 26 then you uh, get problems with the uh, on button uh, because there's a resistor divider and you you need as i seen uh, something like 26 volt for the boards to really detect the, the on off button yeah that's it bye bye